Hello, good morning. All right, people are starting to sign in. So let people sign in and we'll start to chat about what's gonna to happen today. Um, again, for people who, more people signing, great. For people who, um, who don't know me, my name's Chris Richardson. I'm co-owner of uh, Zero Gravity Pilates. Um, so you can find us on at Zero Gravity Pilates. Uh, we specialize in ultra mat Pilates. Um, so if you have done our workouts before, you'll know what it's all about. It's pretty intense. Uh, you work your full body from head to toe, working your core, working your posture, flexibility, really from the sculpt tone uh, on your legs, your bum and your arms. Um, if you haven't done it before, as mentioned, it's pretty intense. Um, I always say uh, we, are in, we do work to fatigue in most exercises. So um, what I do say is work to fatigue, but only go to uh, your level. If you start pushing it too much and you find that you start losing your form and your technique, just stop, have a breather, and then, um, and then, and then restart. A um, lot of comments coming through, thank you very much. People saying they're addicted to the sessions, good. A lot of people doing it most days of the week, which is great. Um, what I will be doing to people who have, who have been following us, I will put a timetable up of, um, of this week's sessions. Um, and, and you can see obviously um, all the different sessions and who we have coming on and so forth with us at Zero Gravity this week. Um, I can't wait to work for Fit and Well today. Uh, I've done a lot of articles for them in the past. Um, great magazine, great company. Um, it was one of my first very first first articles I'd done was with Lisa Snowden um, uh, for Fit and Well. So uh, when he asked me to do this, I was very happy to do it. So um, yeah, it should be good. Right, we're on the hour. People are still logging. This is great. Numbers are still going up. So we'll get started with a stretch. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there, all right? So bring yourself all to your mats when you're ready. Once you are on your mats, lay yourself down um, onto your back, okay? Lay yourself down onto your back. You're gonna start with a nice hamstring stretch, okay? So lay yourself down on your back. Once you are on your back, raise your left leg high to the ceiling, okay? Once your left leg's nice and high to the ceiling, take the grasp a bit behind the knee. And what you wanna do is just start to creep your hands up the calf towards the heel. Curl the left foot, the toes, down towards you. Push your left heel up to the ceiling. And start to bring the left leg closer towards the head. And the head closer towards the hamstring. Okay, so you get a nice big stretch. Right down the hamstring on your left hand side. Now just breathe into the stretch. Quite a deep one. Nice big stretch out for those hamstrings. I want you to really focus on pushing your left heel high to the ceiling. And curling the toes down towards you, okay? Now just breathe into your final 10 seconds for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release the left leg, pop it down. Same thing on the opposite side. Right leg up, drive the right heel to the ceiling, grasp behind the knee, support the leg. Then just start to bring your hands up the leg there, okay, so towards the calf and ankle area of your hands, where your hands will come. Push the heel to the ceiling, curl the toes down towards you, and push the back of the right knee forwards. So again, get a nice big lengthening, nice big deep stretch through that right hand side. Now same thing, press the back down, push the heel up. Breathe into the stretch. Okay, hold there for your last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, bend the knee, release, come out. Okay, let's get blast from your core muscles. Bring yourself now onto all fours, okay, onto all fours. So onto your hands and your knees. Your next exercise is a full standing plank to what's called a yogi squat, okay? So you're gonna bring your hands down fairly narrow, okay, in front of you. Lift your knees up and extend your legs back into a full plank position, okay? Now belly button draws in, shoulders draw down. What I want you to do is you've got the left foot, bring your left foot, tiptoes, to alongside your left hand. And then from here, right foot's gonna do the same thing. Right foot, tiptoes, alongside the right hand. Extend the right leg back to a full plank, left leg back to a full plank. And go again, this time right foot forwards, tiptoes, Left foot tiptoes forwards, absolutely. So you're like in a, uh, like a frog position here. Then extend back one, extend back with two, okay? And go again. Repeat the sequence. 
Then the exercise is just start to load your arms. Start to work on the mobility of your hips. Okay. Obviously, as you walk back into your plank, your core muscles start to engage and fire up. Squeeze the bum tight, pull the belly button into your spine. Breathe out when you bring one leg forwards, deep breath in. Breathe out, it's in the leg forwards, and go again, okay? Just 20 seconds of these, just to start to mobilize your hips, get your core working, keep trying to pull the shoulders down, add to the spine, okay? So nice and high for your heels when you go into that yogi squat position. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two. Extend both legs back and hold now. Now pull the abdominals in, squeeze the bum nice and tight. Bring the feet together to touch. Squeeze your thighs together. Tap your knees down, lift your knees up. Tap your knees down, lift your knees up. Big squeeze in the bum when you drive up to the top. Deep breath in lower. Breathe out to the top. Good start. Keep with us, keep putting the shoulders down, keep drawing the abs in, keep squeezing the glutes tight. 20 seconds of these, keep working through. Great for core. Let's go. Good strength. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, up and hold. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, bring your knees down, good start. Okay, bring your bum to your heels now. Once your bum's on your heels, go into what's called a shell stretch, okay? So the shell stretch, you go bum to heels, chest comes forwards to knees, extend the arms nice and long. Now the palms of the hands will face each other. Direct your thumbs up to the ceiling, and now look to push your forearms down into your mat. So you can get a nice big lengthening and stretch just from the armpits down into your big muscles in the back of your lats. Keep driving down, really give a shoulder mobility to open up your lats. So push it down five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Okay, still blasting the abdominals, okay? So lay yourself down onto your backs now. Once you lay yourself down on your back, you can see me from there, it's fine. Okay, extend your legs, one, two, up to the ceiling. Bring your hands down beside you, okay? Now tilt your pelvis in towards your mat, so your lower back's not lifting. Pull the belly button into your spine, and really look to draw the rib cage downwards, okay? Now you're gonna lower your legs down, drop to your range where you can hold. Two reps of separating the feet wide, one, two, pull back to the centre and lift up to the top, okay? So you drop, separate one, separate two, pull back up to the top and continue that same sequence, lowering using your lower abs to hold the legs, separate one, separate two and pull back up to the top. All times, rib cage draws down, Abs pull in and control the movement. If your find it gets too much, restrict the range you lower by. I don't want that lower back lifting from the mat at any time, okay? Right, keep working for everyone. It's a great one for lowering your lower abs. Get your tummy really working and switching on. Your deeper transverse abdominals work extremely hard. You'll find when you separate your feet at the bottom of the movement, it really fires up your lower abs. Okay, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now lower your legs and hold your range. And just flat kick your feet up and down. Kick, kick, kick. Abs in. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Feet come down. Good work. Okay. Grasp both knees. Pull both knees into your chest. Press your lower back into your mat. Get a nice big stretch out through your lumbar spine. Okay, so knees in, back into mat, and massage from side to side. So same thing, get a big old stretch out through the lower back. For five, four, three, two, one. 
Well done. Okay, back up onto all fours. Straight into mountain climbers now, okay? How's everyone feeling, by the way? All good? Yes, a couple of high fives, pain. <laughs> good, good start, good start. Right, from here, pop your knees down into your mat, okay? Now the mountain climber is gonna be going from inside to outside, okay? So really working the abs and muscles of your waist. So you're gonna bring the hands down, hands shoulder width apart, okay? Pick your knees up, extend your legs back and hold in a plank position. Now belly button pulls in, really spread your fingers apart to distribute the weight across the hands down. What you're gonna do is pull your left knee into your chest, one, come back down. Right knee pulls into your chest, two, come back down. Now you're gonna to go to the outside, left knee, the outside of your left elbow, one, right foot, right knee, you're gonna lift up, comes to the outside of the right elbow, two, and go again. So one to the inside, two to the inside, then one to the outside, and two to the outside, okay? You can set the same sequence of movements, pulling the abs into your spine, the leg that stays down, squeeze that glute nice and tight. So what you want is, you want to make sure your lower abs are fired up, but you want to make sure your pelvis is supported, no pressure on the back. So squeeze the bum, belly button drawn in, keep trying to sink the shoulders down, don't allow the shoulders to lift up near the ears. Let's do this guys, keep pushing through, keep working. Ah, oh, there we go. My abs are on fire. I hope yours are too. Great for squeezing the waist there too. Right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Are you ready? Hold a plank position. Let's do this. Abs in. Left leg. Tuck in a hold. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Left foot down. Are you ready? Right knee in. Abs in, hold, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Knees go down, ouch. Whew, that was tough, that was tough. Right, from here, going to a cat-cow stretch. So, on all fours, knees on the hips, hands on the shoulders. You're gonna look to your knees and really round the upper back, nice and high to the ceiling. Big stretch out for the upper back. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out, tilt the pelvis forwards. You're gonna arch your lower back. Stick your bum backwards and look forwards. So you get a lovely stretch out for your lower abs and lower back. And then look into your knees and round the upper back high again, okay? This is mobilizes the spine, opens up the upper, lower back. Get a nice stretch for the lower abs as well. Relax the shoulders down. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Just grab some water and we'll keep working, okay? How's everyone feeling? I'm kind of used to talking to someone because I'm back and forth. So it was okay, good. Please say. Yeah, so this will be saved on Fit and Wells. Um, I think it's going to go onto IGTV or they're going to use parts of it to put up and post it. But I'm going to save it so it won't get lost, it'll get saved. What they, what Fit and Well do with it afterwards, obviously, um, they'll let me know and I can let you know. But I think it's going to be saved to Live Feet or IGTV or they're going to put parts of the exercise out for us all to, to do afterwards as well. All right. Right, come back to your mats. Still blasting your abdominals. So lay yourself down on your back. Right, knees like sucks, so, okay? Right, oblique toe taps. So, extend one leg up and two leg up, okay? Press your lower back into your mat. Fingertips come to temples, elbows out nice and wide. Deep breath in. Breathe out, curl the head and shoulders up. Reach your right hand to your left foot, come across the body, squeeze tight. Temples breathe in lower. Lift your head and shoulders up. Left hand to right foot, squeeze tight. Back down we come. Right hand to the left foot, squeeze up and across. Deep breath in, come down. So the lifting part of the exercise will come from your six pack muscles, okay? The erect abdominals. That rotation and reaching across just starts to hit the muscles of your waist. So your obliques, 
and your intercostal muscles. So this is really good for working the abdominal wall. Whew. Let's go, my abs are burning already. Squeeze my cross. Let's go. Right, last 20 seconds of these. Keep putting the ribcage down. Breathe out at the top. Contract the abs. Squeeze them tight. Well done. Let's work through now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Right, lift up both hands to both feet. Switch all those red abs. Let's pulse for it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Chin away from the chest. Back down. Legs long. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, bring it down. Well done. Ouch. <laughs> that was tough. That was tough for me anyway. Uh, hug your left knee into your chest. Extend the right leg nice and long. Make your right leg heavy. Hip nice and heavy. Left leg, really pull it into your chest. Press your lower back into your mat and stretch it as much as you can. Okay, breathe into it. It's a really good stretch for the hip and the back. Final five for four, three, two, one. Well done. Just change legs over. Left leg long, left leg heavy. Tuck your right knee in. As you breathe out, pull the knee closer into your chest. Press your lower back into the mat. Breathe into it. Stretch it out. Been great for the hips, great for the back. Make a slight little stretch for the glute as well. Okay, five, four, Three, two, one. Well done. Okay, time to work the bum. Time to work your legs. So, set yourself up. Lay yourself on your right hip and your right forearm. So my right forearm's down like a plank or side plank position. Shoulder over elbow. Hips are stacked. I'm laying on, on my right hip. From here, to high clam pulses. So legs together, legs are bent to begin with, okay? Now what you want to do is, with your feet, raise your feet up so your feet are in line with your bum as high as the hips. Bottom leg stays down, left hand holds the left hip. When you're ready, raise up into a clam here. Now you'll notice my feet are high. They stay high and stay glued to each other, okay? Abs are in, lift the rib cage up. Right from here, literally lower and up, lower and up. Okay, now the goal of this exercise is obviously to fire up the outside of your left glute. But what you want to do is keep the bottom leg down, but keep the feet lifted as high as the hip. That will create more tension in the glutes on the left hand side. The body wants to collapse through here, wants to drop down, drop into your shoulder. Pull the shoulder down and neck long, abs in, keep that waist lifted. Okay. So you then have a nice kinetic chain running through the body in towards that glute, creating more activation, okay? Right, keep going for it. I don't need to go right down, rest and lift up, literally halfway and up, halfway and up. Keep the glute activated, okay? It'll start to burn, that's what we want. This works the outside of your bum, your glute knee. Now your glute knee is a lazy muscle, okay? But that glute knee, when it's fired up and it's working correctly, it stabilizes your hips, it supports the lumbar spine, and it really does shape the outside of the bum, okay? So it's, a, it's one, it's very worthwhile doing it. Keep pushing through, keep squeezing tight. Keep breathing out as you pulse up high. Right, your bum should now be on fire. Mine is, yours should be too. Let's do it, 20 seconds. Keep working through. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, up high hold. Breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rest it down. Well done. Good work. Back from here, we'll have a stretch in a minute. Go straight into the leg lifts. Lay yourself down. Right arm nice and long, you can rest your head down if you need to. Bottom leg's tucked in, left leg nice and long. You can see my foot from there, yeah. Okay, left leg long, from here. Left leg extends, left heel pushes forwards, toes towards your shins, abs are in. Stack the hips. When you're ready, just bring your left leg slightly behind the hip 
and turn your toes just to point towards the floor now, okay? Now from here, you're gonna raise your leg up, squeeze tight, and lower down to hip height. Squeeze up, squeeze tight, lower down to hip height, okay? And continue that same movement. Hips are stacked, squeezing up and down. Notice my left foot, the toes have turned to the floor to recreate a bit of tension in the hip and the bum. And that's what we want, up and down, okay? Obviously the bum was just working hard in the clams, so this is a little cruel, but this is amazing for your legs and bum, okay? That's what we want, outside the thigh, outside the bum, really firing up. Push through, it will burn, that's what we're after. Obviously go to your range, your level, you need to stop, have a breather, stop, have a breather. Right, let's go. Breathe out, lift, breathe in, lower. Breathe out, lift, breathe in, lower. Let's go, my bum's on fire, let's go, let's keep pushing. Might work for everyone. Whew. Okay, last little bit. Let's do it, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, right, last one, lift it high, hold it and pulse it. Ouch, I wanna do this myself, keep going, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax it down. Oh, <laughs> oh my bum's on fire. All right, let's stretch that out. She's on two exercises back to back. Okay, let's get a big stretch out now. So, lay yourself on your back. I'll show you from this position here, okay? Once you're on your back, a figure four stretch. The left ankle comes over the right knee, okay? Now, don't touch the right leg, but with your left hand, hold the left knee. With your right hand, hold the left ankle. Press the back down, bring the knee in towards the chest, and bring your left knee then across the body to your right shoulder. Get a big, deep stretch in the outside of your left glute, okay? Hold that stretch in there. I'll show you from a side position also. So you're here and pulling across. Now obviously the hip and bum wants to lift off. Pull the hip down, create that bit of tension stretch on the left hand side. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, take yourself out of the stretch. Right, stand up when you're ready, grab some water. You'll we'll still be working for your legs, okay? So next up you've got lateral lunges to reverse lunge. How's everyone feeling, okay? Good stretch off that. Yeah, it's a good stretch. It's good, ouch. <laughs> right, are you ready? Let's go into um, our lateral to the first lunges. So still want you to work your left hand side constantly, okay? Your left hand side constantly. We'll come back to work your right hand side very soon. So, when you're ready, okay? You can go hands just out in front, absolutely fine. You're gonna step into your lateral lunge. Step to the left hand side of the room, drop down, hold it there. Push up, stand tall, back to the centre. Load the left leg, step your right leg behind, lower down reverse lunge. Push up to the centre, back out to the left hand side of the room. Wide, drop deep. Push up through the heel to the centre, load the left leg, Step the right leg back, okay? That's the sequence of movement I want you to do. We'll go for the technical points, what you should and shouldn't be feeling in two seconds. Just get moving, follow me if you need to. Right, each time you drop into a lunge, look at your feet. Make sure your feet point directly forwards. Your knees want to align up with the second toe on your foot, okay? Doesn't point out to the side, doesn't point inwards. Nice and straight, nice and straight, okay? Try to avoid your knees eclipsing your toes each time you lunge. You want the knee coming over the heel, opposed to the knee coming over the toes, okay? To create more tension in the bum when you stand tall. Right, breathing in each time you lower, breathing out each time you stand tall. Right, let's keep pushing through. My left hand side is just starting to warm up. Whew, let's do it, push to the heel. Breathe in lower, breathe out, push up to the top. Perfect, sink yourself deep into your lunge. You can hinge to the hips and allow the chest to come forward when you come down at me here. But notice my chest hasn't collapsed. 
My collarbone's always open, sternum's always lifted. I always have that slight pinch in my knee back, which allows the chest to remain open. Okay, again, create a nice kinetic chain for the body. Right, let's go. Let's keep pushing through. How's everyone's legs feeling at home? All good, I hope. Right, keep pushing. Last little bit. 20 seconds of these. Knee there. Right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now, if you know my workout, you know what's about to happen. Left leg, reverse lunge back with the right, drop, hold it, and now pulse at left hand side. Abs in, load the left leg. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Push up, lateral lunge, drop it down. Get deep, hold it, and pulse, and pulse. So nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push up to the top. Oh, <laughs> left leg's numb. Jelly legs, yeah, me too. <laughs> Great, how's everyone feeling with that one? Fire, yeah, my legs are on fire. <laughs> right, let's stretch it out. So, stretch out the left quad. Hold on to your left ankle. Pull the heel up into your bum and pull directly back. Stretch out the left quadricep. Big, big stretch out, big stretch out. Keep pulling back, keep stretching it out. Breathe into that stretch, okay, it's a deep one. Oh, that's horrible, that last exercise, isn't it? Horrible. Right, three, two, one. Well done, good work. Next exercise is pencil squat. So still working legs and bum. All I'm seeing is loads of fire emojis coming up in the chat. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, so next up is pencil squats. Pencil squats work into your legs and your bum again, but everything is central, okay? Then we'll go and work the right hand side of your legs. All right, so, when you're ready, you go legs together on this one, legs together. I'll come a little bit closer than I was. Here we are, okay, legs together. What we're going to do is, abs are in, drop the body into a squat, frontal raise the arms, get deep, push through the heels, breathe out, stand tall, okay? And we go again, I'll show you the side position. So, legs together, drop it down, bum deep, abs in, arms out in front, push through the heels, breathe out, stand tall, okay? That's all we've got to do now, let's do it, nice and slow. Drop down low, push up to the top. Abs in, knees and feet pointing forwards. Drop the bum down as deep as your body allows you to, okay? Again, it's working for the range of motion here in your hips, your knees. Keep driving through those heels to stand tall, okay? Really work on the thighs. You're gonna notice if you're tightening certain areas of the body here, the feet are gonna wanna turn outwards. You tighten your hamstrings, feel weak in the glutes, glute in particular. Those feet want to turn outwards and collapse to the arches. Try to avoid that as much as you can. Feet forwards, knees pushing forwards, abs drawing in, push through your heels, okay? So you notice I'll keep re repeating myself. I'll usually become bodily as well. So these exercises we're doing, these sessions we're doing, yes, they create the tone and the sculpt in the body, but I want you to become bodily aware, and that's the most important thing. Right, let's keep pushing through. Let's go, oh, my legs again, I had it. Right, last 20 seconds. Let's all do it now, let's all do it. Let's push through. Keep frontal, raise those arms. Bring those arms out in front. It's a light bit of light activation from the tops of the shoulders, which is all good, which allows you to keep the spine nice and straight as you come down. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You ready? Drop it, hold it. Pulse it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, push up to the top again. <laughs> oh, I'm killing myself off here. <laughs> Love this, good, good, good. Glad you all enjoyed it, stretch off those hamstrings. So. Legs together. Once the legs are together, stretch your arms high to the ceiling. Deep breath in. 
Breathe out, forward fold down towards your toes. Get down nice and deep. Gradually come down. Hold the back to your legs. Pull the head towards your knees. And push the back of your knees to the back of the room. Get a nice big, deep length in sensation. Big stretch for the hamstrings and your lumbar spine, okay? Oh, get your breath back too. Okay, come on, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring yourself out of the stretch. Right, grab some water again. Once you grab some water, we've got the other side of our legs to work on, unfortunately. Okay, so, once you grab some water, we've got clams, leg circles, reverse lunges and natural lunges to come. <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> Right, so, bring yourself, actually I'm going to turn, just get a bit dark, two seconds. Let's turn this line, let's get a bit dark in here. Yeah. Right, so when you're ready, bring yourself down onto your left hand side now. So onto your left forearm and left hip, okay? Feet come together, left leg rests down, notice my hips are stacked. Never allow your pelvis to face up to the ceiling, you don't get no connection in your bum. Pelvis stack, that means right hip directly on top of the left. Okay, nice and high up the waist, abs are in, right hand, right hip. Lift the feet up to your feet as high as the hip and in line with the bum. Drive the right leg up high, lower down halfway. Up high, lower down halfway. Squeeze the glutes, let's do it. Feet are high, abs are in. Squeeze that right bum cheek nice and tight. Now notice my feet remain high. Okay, it's part of the exercise. My left leg is resting down. That's absolutely fine. That's a base point, okay? So you're gonna linch that left leg in, but work for that right. Again, my bum is just starting to warm up now. It's talking to me. Oh, right, work through. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Abs keep pulling in. Sink the left shoulder down, and the neck nice and long. Again, you're working the outside of your bum, your glute knee, okay? Like I said, that's a lazy muscle, it doesn't do too much. So you wanna get that working nice and hard. Shapes the bum, helps support the lower back. Great for pelvic stability, okay? So get it working. It's a good function to the body, that glute knee. Okay, let's do it. Last 20, abs in. Waist high, shoulder down, squeeze, ow, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, up high, hold tight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest it down, good work, good work. So rest the legs now, when you're ready, Straight into leg lifts, okay, right hand side. So, left arm, nice and long, okay. From here, if you can see me. Rest the, the left head down. Left leg bent in towards you. Right leg nice and long, okay. Now, right hand, right hip, abs are in. Keep the pelvis stacked, like we've done before. Just turn the right foot down into the floor, okay. Create the tension in your glute mead the outside of your bum, okay, are you ready? Let's do this. Lower down, breathe in, now shuffle up slightly, my kitchen's not the biggest. Lower down, breathe in, breathe out, squeeze up. Breathe in, lower down, breathe out, squeeze up, okay? Just get that bum firing up. Again, make sure your right leg is slightly behind the hip. If it's too far in front, you'll find you've got no activation in your bum. Breathe just behind, toes to the floor, create tension the glute, then raise up and down. And you'll notice a big difference in the activation, the outside of your bum and the outside of the thigh. Okay? Okay, let's do this. Squeeze up and down, abs in, hips stacked. Oh, my bum's already going for it. Wow. Let's go. Breathe out up, breathe in lower. Get a pelvis stacked, just take it slow. Whoa. Glue will be starting to talk to you, that's what we want, okay? Like I say, just shapes the outside of the bum. Perfect. Let's go, let's go. Right, keep pushing through. 
Keep pushing through. Come all together now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We're up, hold, and then pulse it for 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rest it down. Oh. Slap your bum if you need to. Wake it back up. Mine feels numb. Ah. Right, let's lay yourself on your back again. Let's stretch that one out. So I'll show you from this position. Once you are laying yourself down on your back, bring your right ankle over the left knee. Okay? Now, again, most people grab the left leg, pull it in. Don't do that. Hold on to your right knee. Hold on to your right ankle. Press the lower back down, focus just all the stretch on this right hand side. So pull the leg in and across. Keep trying to bring your ankle in at the same time. Keep the right leg at a right angle. Aim for the right knee to come towards your left shoulder. Press the hip down into your mat. Stretch it out, okay? Let's jump over to here. Pull across, nice big stretch. Right, breathe into it, nice big deep stretch. So we have got those hideous lateral lunges to reverse lunges to come. Again, right hand side we're focusing on. Okay, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Okay, sit nice and tall. Bring yourself up to your feet. How's everyone feeling at the moment? Everyone okay? Fire. <laughs> I'm glad you can't hear my screen, yeah. Tough, tough workout. I'll scream for you, don't worry. <laughs> right, from here. Lateral lunge to reverse lunge. Okay, lateral lunge to reverse lunge. So, let's get rocking and rolling. Okay, like we've done before, you might want to bring your hands just out in front, it's absolutely fine. Okay, we'll start with the lateral lunge. Just step out to the right hand side, drop down deep. Push up the right heel, stand tall. Right foot then anchors into the floor, left foot steps back, balance, and drop down. Okay, push up, over to the side, lateral lunge, push up, right foot central, left foot steps back, down, reverse lunge, push up, over to the side, okay? Right, first couple of reps, get used to it, and then we're going to start to go from the technical point, what we should, shouldn't be feeling, what we should Shouldn't be doing, okay? Let's do it. All these exercises, there's a purpose behind them, okay? We're not exercising in vain. Every exercise has a purpose behind it, and that's how it should be. Okay. Feet point forwards at all point times, okay? You look at your knees, you look at your feet. Make sure each time you lunge, the knee is in alignment with the second toe on both feet. Making sure when you do lunge, your knees do not eclipse your toes. You want the knee to travel over the heel, okay? You can hinge for the hips, bring the chest slightly forwards and downwards towards the leg, which is all good, but don't collapse the chest, okay? Try to avoid that, avoid that kyphotic position of the upper back, the upper back rounds. The chest being open, sternum lifted, collarbones. Open, mid back, squeeze tight. Okay? It's so that way you don't collapse that chest. How's everyone's right hand side feeling? Mine is starting to fire up. Whew, let's do it, come on. Right, last 20 seconds again. I'm gradually inching my way closer to all you guys. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, you ready? Reverse lunge to the first one. Drop it down, hold it, and pulse it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, up, lateral, out to the outside, get low, pulse it. 10, focus, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, push up to the top. Oh, <laughs> my right leg's gone. Whose else's legs are gone? 
Ah, uh, no one's talking. It's good, it's a good sign. Right, stretch off that right quad. So, hold into your right ankle. Pull the heel up into your butt and pull directly back. I'm taking fire emojis being a good sign. Ah, oh, right, pull it back, nice big deep. Stretch the front of the thigh. Open it up. The good thing is, legs are now finished for the session. We're just gonna blitz your abs to finish off with, okay? So finish off the stretch, grab some water, blitz your abs for your last five minutes, and then we're all done, okay? Right, stretch it off. Grab some water, everyone. I'm sweating over here, absolutely sweating. Right, next exercises. So, we're going to work on your abs to finish off, as I said, to abs to finish off. Three exercises, let's blitz them, get it done, and out of the way, okay? So, come to your mat when you're ready, okay? What I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you actually from this position here, so you can see exactly what's going on. So, lay yourself down onto your backs, okay? Lay yourself onto your backs. Extend both legs, one and two, up towards the ceiling. From there, all you need to do is bring the left hand over the chest and reach your right hand for the ceiling, okay? Legs will lower to a range where you can hold the legs. So right hand to ceiling, left hand across the chest. Pull your left leg in, lift your head and shoulders up and try to tap your left foot with the right hand. Left leg down, head and shoulders down. Up, right hand to left foot again. Left leg down, head and shoulders down. And we go again, twist across the body. <sighs> Breathe out, up we go. Deep breath in, come back down. I'll show you the side position as well. Plus it's not a comfortable exercise on a wooden floor post by mat. So legs along, left hand across the chest, right hand to ceiling. All we're doing is right leg stays still, left leg in, try to tap the left foot, left leg drops down. Squeeze across. Now obviously the deeper your legs go, the harder it gets. You can drop them nice and deep into here if you want to. Up and across, back down. That's a lot harder. Just make sure that lower back remains in towards your mat. Okay, for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Up and hold and pulse towards that left foot. Let's go for it. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Oh, rest it down. Hump your knees into your chest. Rock your lower back into the carriage, okay? Onto carriage and mat, sorry, I'm used to saying carriage from working the reformers into your mat. Stretch it out. Oh, for three, two, one. Well done. We'll do the other side of those, okay, after your next exercise. Next exercise is plank crossovers, okay? So, I'm going to show you from this position here. You may not be able to see my head, that's fine. I want you to concentrate on my legs, okay? That's where the exercise is going to be at. In your core, but it's coming from the leg movement, okay? So, elbows down. Have the shoulders over the elbows. Legs up and away into a full plank to hold. Tuck under, bum squeeze tight, abs draw in. When you're ready, left foot lifts up and taps the outside on the floor of the right side of the foot, okay? Comes down, right foot lifts up, comes to the outside onto the floor of the left foot. And go again, to so cross up and over. Up and over, okay? Abs pull in, bums be tight, shoulders over the elbows. Squeeze your abs as tight as you can. This is tough, this is not easy. It's too much, just hold in a plank position. This is absolutely fine. Whew, my core is on fire. Keep working through it. Keep the shoulders over the elbows. Abs pulled into spine. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold tight. Hold tight. Breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Knees come down. Well done. Whew. Oh. Bum to heels. Arms along. Chest towards the knees. Bum to heels. Stretch it out. 
Palms to hands face each other. Thumbs point up to the ceiling. Push your forearms down. Stretch off those lats. Open up the shoulders. One last exercise after this. Oh, I can't wait. Three, two, one. Well done. Okay. Lay yourself down on your back, okay? This time it's left hand to right foot. Left hand to right foot. Lay yourself down. Left hand to ceiling. Legs up to the ceiling. Right hand across the chest. Legs will lower to a range where you can support your back into the mat and hold it there. Left leg don't move. The right leg pulls in. Reach across the right foot. Come back down. Up. Across. Come back down. Up. Across. Come back down. Right, breathe out. Reach across. Breathe in. Come down. Let's do it. Come on. Up. Across. Breathe in. Come down. I say it's getting too much. Legs are closer towards you. Harder. Legs are longer and lowered. Okay? Longer and lowered. Get your hand medium. Let's go. Keep squeezing. You're working your obliques. Intercostal muscles. Rack abdominals. Deeper transverse abdominals all working hard. The entire abdominal wall is fired up. Get your last 15 out of it. We've all got it in us. Let's do it. Last exercise in class. Come on. Whew. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Up. Pulse it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And bring it down. Ah. Oh. Hug your knees into your chest. Press your back into your mat, rock from side to side, stretch it all the way out, open up your lower back, have a breather. Wow. Final five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Put your feet down, sit yourself up when you're ready, give yourself a big pat on the back. Well done, everyone. Good work. That's the session over with. How's everyone feeling, okay? Oh, that's good. <laughs> They're tough. I've been looking up at um, spotlights. My eyes gone all blurry. Great, well, everyone enjoyed it. Thanks everyone for joining in. We had a good, uh, good number of people watching. I can look back and see the amount of people was watching throughout the whole session afterwards. So um, thank you all for joining us. If, you, if you've um, enjoyed it, um, as I have been doing on, on, on fire at Zero Gravity Pilates, um, jump over to our page. Um, we are raising money for NHS charities together. Uh, we've raised over three thousand six hundred or three thousand seven hundred pounds now for NHS, which is amazing. So if you can keep um, keep up of your keep up your generosity, I'll be um, over the moon. Uh, keep going for it. Obviously, I'm trying to do these every day to keep trying to raise money. So it gives me motivation to keep exercising, keep you exercising. If we keep uh, donating, all right. Um, I will now save this and I will get onto Fit and Well to see what they're going to do in terms of posting it and stuff like that. Um, in regards to Zero Gravity, uh, check over our page. I'll post something today of all the celebrities, other brands we're working with throughout this week. Other than that, thank you very much for um, joining in. I hope you all uh, enjoyed it. My legs are on fire, I hope yours are too. Um, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks a lot, see ya.